radio check. Spot a radio check.
That's the end of the session. P11. Six sets of tires, one quick repair. Um, we will have a stage break on lap 50, so when the leaders hit uh, lap 50, call it out, because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be anywhere near it. Yeah. Plenty of fuel to finish the race. The estimated SOF is 1,871. You have five additional. The track temp is 72. The air temp is 69 Fahrenheit. 150 laps. Follow car number 89 in the outside column. Da, 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 stage. 50. We need to catch up to okay. car number 89. Alright man, we're going green next time. Alright man, right up on the inside row. Get road is closed. It's the 89 car. Get ready. All right, Johnny, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Go, nail it. Side. Clear to the bottom. We've got a full course caution. Watch out. The pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 57. We're under caution. It's closed. Pits are open. Lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Box in 610 meters. Willie, well, you okay? I don't know if uh, that was my fault or what happened. 100 meters, 50 meters. That's it, go. It was Jack's fault, uh, ultimately. <laughs> That's the only thing that matters.
Yeah, all good. No worries. I blame Jack. Box in 610 meters. Meters. All right, that's it. Go. Pete, there's a long stretch of waiting for the <laughs> start finishing with that for Pete, but. Yeah, that's Jack's fault. Better not speed. Green flag, we're racing. You're last. Outside. We're outside. Car high. Outside is clear. Fastest lap for Holloway, 27.9. P10, that's the fastest lap. You've just done a 27.8. Clear to the top. Okay, Johnny. Car high. P9. Still there. Still there. Clear high. Last lap time was at 27.6. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. The lap time was 27.2. Keep it steady. Still there. Keep it steady. Still there. Hold your line. Clear, clear high. P7. Taylor ahead is now 0.6. Outside. Still there. Full joy. V6. Clear outside. Car high. 
Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear outside. was that? 27.4. Outside. Still there. He's still there. We're outside. E5. Gomez in front is now 0.8. Gomez. Far outside. Clear high. Yeah, I should have told you a little fair humor there about that. P4, that lap time was 27.8. Outside. Hold your line. Clear high. P3. Outside. 
Hold your line. Car high. Clear, clear to the outside. Outside. Still there. Keep it steady. Still there. Okay, Johnny, the next car is off oh, well. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear outside. P2. Car outside. Clear outside. Gap to Bothwell behind is increasing. It's now 1.2. That lap was at 27.8. to Holloway. Ahead is now 1.7 seconds. Two. I'm going to be in Appreciate it, mate. The gap to Holloway ahead is now 1.3. That was a uh, 28.0. Okay, Johnny, that's good consistency. Keep it up. The lap time was at 28.0. That last lap was at 28.2. Gap to Holloway in front is now 
car high. Still there. Keep it steady. Clear outside. Car low. Okay, Johnny, you've got about four laps of fuel left. You're now in the lead. Clear low. Consistency. Keep them coming. Still on, Riley. Only two laps Appreciate of fuel it. left. That lap time was 28.1. This lap. Holloway behind is pitting. This is the last lap of fuel. Okay, Johnny. Outside. We're outside. Look out for the pit speed limit. Box in, 610 meters. One liter remaining. Five, three, two, 100 meters, 50 meters. behind. Car outside. Clear outside. So Gomez behind is now 4.4 seconds. Inside. Clear inside. Thank you, Michael. I needed that. Didn't get coffee before the race. <laughs> yeah, I didn't take tires, so it's a little shit right now. I didn't want to take tires, but I ended up taking right, so...
That was a 28.1. Okay, Johnny, cut times are pretty consistent. The gap to Gomez behind is now 4.2. Just done a 28.3. Car outside. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Thank you. Clear high. Gomez is closing you down. The gap has come down to clear inside. That was a 28.6. Yeah, 50. Full course caution, be careful. Pace car's out. Line up single file behind the pace car. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Watch your speed. Box in six hundred and ten meters. Gomez behind is pitting now. Holy, we forgot where my pit stall was there. Pits are open.
I got a dang speeding penalty under the green flag stop. I didn't realize that pit road was 44.7 and not 45. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Alright, man, we're going green next time. Bye. Alright, man. Alright, Johnny, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. I think we're supposed to come back by now. I'm EOL, uh, Michael, Mike Taylor. Yeah, I got the lippy dog. Okay. You have control. Maintain the pace speed until the restart zone. Then go. Telling me to let you up, uh, buy me a 46. I'm coming. Anyone get the black flag called out? We'll clear them under the circumstance. Green, green, green. Let's go. Yep, I got it. Same here. Be careful, we've got a full course caution. Nice save, nice save. Just gliding, the up into you guys. We're under caution, pits are closed, pace cars out. Line up single file behind the pace car. Pits are open. Lucky dog, let it by on the outside. Lucky dog coming high. Figures. I know Lucky my fault. yellow, pits are open. The road is closed. Pace car is out, pits are closed.
Nice right, cars coming in this lap. So Hurst behind is now 0.9. That's the fastest lap of the race. That last lap was a 26.9. The guy behind has just done a 27.1. was a 27.0. to heaven and behind is increasing, it's now 2.3. You've just done a 27.4.
gap to Evanham behind is now 2.4. Well, that was a Last lap time was at 27.5. to Evanham behind is increasing, it's now 3.6. Giving me the bottom rally next corner. Appreciate it. Okay, Johnny, we're halfway home. We think about 14, perhaps a few yes, remaining. Sir. You've just done a 27.8. The gap to Evanham behind is increasing. It's now 5.3. Your lap time was 27.9. The lap time was at 27.9.
the match in race pace. The gap to Evanham behind is now 6.0 seconds. Times are pretty consistent. Little high. Outside, clear high. That lap Not time was 28.0. The gap to Evanham behind is now 7.8. The lap time was at 28.3. to Evanham behind is increasing. It's now 9.1. You've got about four laps of fuel left. Sorry about that, Ron. I'm sorry. I'm trying to stay out of the way here. Two more laps of fuel. We 
think you'll be out of fuel on the next lap. In this lap, box this lap. The gap to Holloway behind is now 10 seconds. One litre remaining. Look out for the pit speed limit. Box in 610 metres. Meters, 50 meters. There's a car behind, take care, rejoin him. P6. Taylor ahead is pitting. Car high, clear high. Just done at 37.0. The gap to Gomez behind is now 11 seconds. Far outside. Still there. Still there. Outside is clear. Time was 27.3.
the lead. That was a 27.3. So Gomez behind is increasing. It's now 13 seconds. But that was a 27.3. Gap to Evanham behind is now 15 seconds. high, clear high, you've just done a 27.9. Gap to Evanham behind is now 16 seconds. That last lap was a 27.9. Just done at 27.9.
that to heaven and behind is now 17 seconds. Gap to Holloway behind is now 19 seconds. That was a uh, 28.1. The gap to Holloway behind is now 19 seconds. Johnny, we're matching race pace. Hitting this time. Holloway behind is pitting. Done. Thank you, sir. Four laps of fuel left. That lap time was 28.1. Car high. Clear, clear to the outside. Watch your speed. Box in, 610 meters.
100 meters, 50 meters. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Watch your mirrors. Okay, Johnny, you're reeling off well in the gaps now, 0.7. Car inside, clear inside. Off well behind is pitting now. You're in the lead. We're set in the pace. Increased to 7.2. Shit, sorry, Daniel. I thought I had plenty of room, man. We're quickest oh, right now. Your last lap time was at 27.1 Car outside You match in race pace, this is good That lap was a clear to the wall Johnny, there's a car exit in the pits, heads up. Race pace, your lap time was 27.2. We're currently setting the pace, you've just done a 27.3.
We've just done a 27.4. Car outside. Hold your line. Thank you. Still there. Clear, clear okay. high. Car outside. Still there. Hold your line. We're outside. That was a 27.8. Times are improving, this is good. That lap time was 27.8. Time was twenty seven point nine. That lap was at twenty eight point zero. Okay, Johnny, the lap times are pretty consistent. Okay, 
The lap time was at 28.1. Outside. We're outside. Last lap time was at 28.1. Yeah, I have a feeling there's a random drug testing coming up, John, because you are bad, bad. Come on Johnny, two laps left, you're P1. One more lap for the win, come on. That last lap was at 28.2. Great win, you deserve that today. I don't know, I don't know what that was, but that was sure as hell an ass kicking. Good job there, John. Good one, good one. black flag play. Yeah, Daniel, I was wondering what happened to you because I knew there's no reason I should be able to pass you on merit. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Box in 1620 meters.
Hey man, congratulations. That was, that was an ass kicking. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this place. It just, for some reason, it just clicks. Doesn't show at all. Looks like your first race. <laughs> yeah, first time, first uh, first Sunday race here. Yeah. I, I don't think, actually, I think I've run one or two races in former versions of Noma or whatever. Um, I ran with Daniel uh, Holloway and a couple other guys, I think, that, are, that run here um, when Noma had the cup series that they were running uh every week but a long time ago but yeah <laughs> Been around. yeah uh, yeah we were racing for some. it was fun man i uh trying to catch up with you but i just kept burning my stuff up yeah it was, it was, uh, it was fun yeah it was good it was fun it definitely was fun yeah uh it was good racing with you and i appreciate you know the room and respect and whatever absolutely we're just we're here fun man we're just here for fun yeah absolutely i get that <laughs> All right, man. Well, if you're not here next week, I'll hope to catch you again. Yes, I'll be I'll be around. I think I got a couple more races uh, in the 31. So, catch you then. Yes, sir. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. That was uh, third place, Willie Effingham. Riley with my happy. Can't even win. Johnny Eckerd. Go ahead. Mr. Eckerd, is Joey and Richard in the booth? You got a copy? Uh, I do. What's up, guys? Man, that was a good old fashioned whooping that you put on them tonight. Tell us a little bit about your race how the car felt, and how you didn't spin it out the 900 times you had to turn back to the right to go left. <laughs> yeah, I uh, in qualifying, I had a really good lap going, um, and it I changed my steering ratio uh, in qualifying, so I wasn't used to it, and coming out of turn two, um, it got sideways and overcorrected into the wall, so I had to start at the back, um, but, you know, the first, first run, it was kind of seeing what I had, and and how good it was going to be, um, and it it it's, was surprisingly pretty pretty comfortable for the way I like to run here, um, and you know the strategy, you know, I, at the stop I didn't take tires, just took fuel, and I was surprised that I came out as far ahead um, as you know as I did uh, before the stage caution. But, yeah, the second half of the race, uh, I didn't realize how tight the fuel mileage was going to be to, like, a 30-30-30 um, strategy towards the end. I, at one point, I was gonna, I was thinking, yeah, maybe I'll be able to stretch it to make it a one-stop. And <laughs> it was no chance, absolutely no chance. But, uh, yeah, it, it felt good. And, you know, some, some points it got a little bit sideways, but those were uh, mostly times where I was trying to push it to try to try to see what, what I had uh, corner exit or I was doing something different or, you know, or I checked up a little bit too much in corner in the middle of the corner and got on it a little bit too hard. So I was under control though. I wasn't going to do what I didn't qualify again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what we were talking about at one point throughout the races. We were sitting there riding with you and, and watching, you know, you work the steering wheel back and forth. And there was one time I think you got a light. I thought you had, you had tagged the wall maybe with the right rear of the car. 
you had, but I couldn't see no damage on the car, so I don't think he actually got the ball. But it, was, it, got, it got pretty close there a few times for you. Oh, yeah. There were a couple a couple times where I was like, because the body is like sh- is shifted, is skewed just a little bit. So, you know, if you get if you get it with the right rear and you get it hard enough with the right rear, it's going to shoot the right front right in the wall. And it's not not a good time if that happens. So there were a couple moments where I got close enough and I'm like, oh, my God, I, I hope I'm holding, I hope I'm not going to hit it. I hope I'm not going to hit it. But thankfully, uh, you know, it's close, but didn't didn't get it. Um, I don't I don't even think I scraped. I don't think I got a zero X uh, for anything in that race, which was also a little bit out of the norm for me. The last last year or so, I've been uh, most of the races I've been in, I tagged the wall at least once. <laughs> so kind of surprised I didn't do it tonight. Now thinking about it. I mean, it ain't a race if you don't hit the wall at least once. I mean, if, if I leave a race and still have a fast repair, I don't feel like I did anything all night. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about the fast repair. I had to make sure I turned it off just in case that I hit the wall and didn't really think about it. Man, it was uh, – I was wor- I was worried about the, the beginning of the race, just being behind everybody, not me not knowing them, them not knowing me, and not knowing – you know how everybody else races i didn't want to put myself or put someone else accidentally in a in a bad position and then you know cause an accident cause myself or them to have to take a fast repair so it was a little nerve-wracking at the beginning but we got through <laughs> was you surprised to see how clean this race was i mean you had the one caution at the beginning of the race which was you know just a little bit of an overreaction getting too close to the wall simple little mistake no harm no foul and then after that, you had the stage caution, and that was it. I mean, we were going for ag racing the rest of the time. Yeah, we had one more caution after the stage, like right immediately after. Oh, that's the, right. That's right. We did. We did. I forgot but, about that. But even that, I mean, it, it was incredible because the car itself was not as um, in the track as I thought it was going to be. It was a little – it was it was slick. I mean, you know, high horsepower it was naturally going to happen, but I kind of expected with, with the reduced fuel and everything that the car would be a little bit more, you know, planted, that it would – you know, enjoy having that power and, and, you know, having that extra weight out of the back, you know, it was going to sit well on the track, but you know, it, it's still, it was easy to get sideways. So I'm, I'm, I'm honestly really impressed that we were able to go green as long as we did um, to the end. Uh, Real credit to everybody for, for racing within their means because it's so easy with these cars to overstep. I mean, you, you saw me, you were talking about me being sideways. I, I was really, there were times where I was pushing it really to my limit and one or two times when I was underneath somebody where it got uh, sideways that I wasn't expecting. Um, I think there was a one point where I was next to Sam. I think it was like at the beginning, first run of the race. And I, I just could not get the run off the bottom and it just kept getting sideways, sideways, sideways. And all I was thinking to myself was I can't keep doing this because it's going to burn the right rear up. But thankfully, uh, you know, it all worked out and thankfully everybody else, uh, was able to keep it straight too because <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I really enjoyed having the green flag runs. The restarts here make me nervous too with the start finish line or the restart zone being so far past pit entry. So, you know, I, never know. I, I think I made a comment in the middle of the race that I thought when, you know, the cooler temperatures and all the rubber getting laid down that the track would get tighter. Did that actually happen or did it just get looser for you with all the rubber getting laid down? No, it was getting tighter. It was, um, for me though, it was weird because I, I, I have my big bias at one at one point and I generally with other cars, especially, you know, the, the newer NASCAR, you know, that don't have the higher horsepower, you know, you generally like it tend to drop it as the car got tight or as the race went on because it got tighter and tighter. But um, that last run I dropped it a little bit, uh, because I felt like it was getting too tight, like it was too heavy on the right front going into turn one. And I was way loose like it's like immediately burned up the right rear so it was getting tighter but it was not as like easy to to manage as i kind of expected it to with with brake bias at least um definitely had to adjust my line a little bit just to try to not be too sideways so that i had a little bit right rear on exit um you know kind of like diamonding it a little bit but yeah it it got it got a lot tighter (laughs) by that last run i was i was like this is this is, I don't know what I'm doing wrong because <laughs> I was I was going up almost a whole lane higher than I was in, at any other point in the race. All right. Well, Johnny, congratulations on your win tonight, bud. You uh, you definitely put it to it. See, that's uh, four races with the 31 car, three podium finishes, and two wins. So I think the old 31's doing pretty good this season. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be part of it, and I appreciate you guys for uh, having me, and and to the rest of the team uh, for letting me run the car, and and to the boys who uh, <laughs> gave me something to think about tonight with strategy and whatever. Uh, appreciate them, and yeah, I'm looking forward to my next race, uh, whenever that is. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what what else I'm, I'm scheduled for. So, looking forward to it though. All right. Well, the uh, the floor is yours, sir. Anybody you want to thank or anything like that, and yeah, we'll let you get out of here. Yeah. Thanks to you guys first for putting on the broadcast to the league uh, for for having me and and all the sponsors. Um, thanks to the 31 team, uh, Venom Racing for for having me. Um, but uh, thanks to thanks to the boys in the booth <laughs> that were watching, you know, helping me with with strategy and whatever. But uh, Jake, DJ, uh, Boff. Uh, and Halleck for uh, for all their support throughout the race and, and in practice and uh, yeah I'm really excited this was this was a lot lot a lot of fun first experience here I think in in the Gen Four and uh, yeah this really feels like the, the good old days of iRacing where we had all the power and uh, you know low low uh, downforce so it was a good good time appreciate you having me though I'm glad uh, glad you were here tonight buddy. Appreciate everything you do for the league too, especially with you uh, being our race control on Saturday nights. It takes a lot of stress off of me and Jason. Lets us go out and have a good time. So glad uh, we was able to give you a little bit of a of a fun here tonight in this uh in this league. And can't wait to have you back in a few weeks here for your next one. Absolutely appreciate you guys for, and glad to glad to be here to help. Appreciate you guys. Yes, sir. Absolutely good one. Thanks. Well, Richard, so I think the uh, pressure will be on uh, J.O. next week. He'll be in the 31, so he'll be the last driver to make the start in the 31. Then we'll start all over again with uh, us five again. Absolutely. Well, uh, Joey, if, 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 Joey, if he starts at Darlington, then that means you got Watkins Glen, so you better might as well put your practice in now. Cause that's, See, uh, that's, that's, that's the best part about it is uh, is we don't have to stay in a rotation. So actually, I think speed. Tommy's next start is in uh, the 31. Meters. It's going to be at Watkins wow. Glen. I think <laughs> J.O. at Arlington in the 31, and then he'll be in the 33 at Watkins Glen with uh, Johnny Bean in the 31. That's going to be a good race. Those two right there can definitely get around road courses. Uh, I know uh, Holloway's really good on a road course, and um, if uh, Robert Gay's not on shift that weekend, you know, he's, he's good on road courses too. So, absolutely I think it'll be an interesting time. I think you are right. Well, next week is going to be a Darlington, so everybody set your calendars as that is the track they say that is too tough to tame or the Lady in Black. So, set your calendars for that race coming up next week. It's going to be uh, 175 laps with a stage break at lap number 50. Will we see it go green like we saw it tonight? We'll have to see. But uh, that's going to be all for us here at Noma TV. Glad everybody has stopped in and spent your evening with us. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night for the Super Speedway Series. And uh, where are we at tomorrow night? I racing. Oh, we're at the high racing super speedway so that's going to be uh, some fun racing uh as it is each and every monday night so definitely make sure you tune in for that but that's going to be all for me here at the noma tv we appreciate it each and every one of y'all but y'all have a good night god bless and hopefully your work week will go well we'll catch y'all tomorrow That was a straight up ass whooping, buddy. Thank you. Thank straight you. up. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting some messages later on. Like, <laughs> who the hell is that guy? Yeah, I um, I was talking uh to the guys about that before. It's it's funny because I've uh this isn't the first time that I've actually lapped the field at, at Phoenix. For some reason, like this place just clicks with me, and 
I, I just, I just love it. I really had a, I had a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a blast. It was cool. I don't know. To me, it's just the way that this place drives. You can drive like uh, one and two so differently, one lap to another, and have the car like react completely differently. Like one lap, I'd be running the bottom. Next lap, I'll be running on the seam. The next lap, I'd be running the second groove, and the car would drive com three completely different ways. So it was, uh, it's a lot of fun to have those those options. Yeah, that's, I can't do this flat. Like with all the horsepower stuff, it's especially at Phoenix. I, I can't get Phoenix down, not even in the truck. So we, me and when I was trying to help Jason practice for that Tuesday night league, he had me by like, I think it was 11 seconds and 20 laps. And so I, I couldn't, I couldn't ever get Phoenix figured out. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting because we have this conversation. I've actually had this conversation with DJ a bunch because he, he struggles on the flat tracks. He, he struggles in particular on tracks where you have to shift. So like New Hampshire and some of the cars, you have to, you end up shifting as the run goes on. Um, mm -hmm. But the flat tracks, he's generally has a hard time with. For some reason, this place, he was actually the person who got me back on track with, with running here because I, for a while there, um, you know, I was fast through, I would have good runs, but I would never have like race winning speed. And then he directed me with the Arca car in, in, in all American. Um, and from there on, it was just, it really super clicked. Like every time I went out, this is actually, <laughs> I just, I'm actually looking at sim racer hub right now. This is the, this is the third win in a row. Yeah. Third win in a row. The third time I've been here and third win in a row here. So, um, uh, I don't know. Something about it clicks. Don't know why. Well, no, you had it. I know you. You had it clicking at night. You kicked everybody's ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. You just. You just sounded like freaking a king of the hill. <laughs> <laughs> you just kicked everybody's ass. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm so glad I'm not in none of the races that you're in. Oh my Jesus! There was one of them. I forgot what track it was. Uh, it's not. It wasn't the road course. It was one other one that you were supposed to be doing. Jason's like, "You gonna hop into thirty three for that one?" I was like, ah, and I looked and seen your name. I was like, "Fuck no!" Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm supposed to run uh, Atlanta. I think Watkins Glen and Atlanta are my final two races. And, yep. Uh, yep. It was Atlanta. He's because it was after I won the Atlanta race the other night, right? And he's like, "You want to hop in the car in Atlanta?" I'm like, mm -mm. nope. <laughs> I love Atlanta. Sure's. Sure's hell ain't. It's gonna be a that one's gonna be a different type of challenge because Atlanta, old Atlanta, is more about uh, keeping the tires under you over the run than it is about being fast. Here, it was just like kind of charge the corner every time and see what you got, but. Atlanta, it's going to be like, all right, who's going to be able to keep the tires under them the longest and, and the best over that, you know, fuel run and see what happens, see, you know, see where everybody shakes out. Yeah, but he told me that I had to make a start in the 33 because he was going to do it. And uh, I was like, all right, fine. I'll do, uh, I can't remember if it's Vegas or Kansas. It's one of those two races. I'll do it. And then I was like, you know what? Hell, I might, I might do the uh, Atlanta race with you. And that way I can learn from you. Hell yeah. In the middle of the race. <laughs> then it'd be like, well, you know, he kicks everybody's ass, so he kicked my. I mean, it, at this point, I, I just say, if I stay on the lead lap, I've done something. Well, <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. You know, it takes one mistake and everything shakes up differently, so. Hmm. All right, y'all. I've got to get up early. I am going to bed. Johnny, yeah, congratulations. Right. Richard, Thank thanks you. for letting me do this tonight. It's been a blast, buddy. Yeah. Oh, not a problem. Appreciate you joining in. Appreciate you guys having yeah. me and having me. <laughs> yep. I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys later. See you. All right, buddy. All right, this is what, my seventh. Four verts? Yeah, this, I agree. This is my seventh uh, Phoenix win on Team Racer Hub. And I let 110 out of the 159. Look at you go. Look at me go. Pass this lap by a tenth. And Macklin jumped over. Yep. Nice. There were flags on the play, though. So where did I... Oh, I have 
Admin power. Where's the points? Without the I am twentieth in points. Two points ahead of JO. Ah, fuck JO. We'll finish seventh in eight this one. Come on. Come on. Well, they were surprised apparently how much I was, how sideways I was. Oh fuck! There was a red flag in DJ's race. Oh no. Yep. Oh, I can put this back on now. All right. 